Hi, I'm Corey with Gold Rush Expeditions, and today we are out at the West Swansea Mine. West Swansea because we are right off of the patent of Swansea, and if you know what that is, then you know why we're here. If you don't know what Swansea is, you should go turn your computer off right now, go pick up a book, look it up, and come back and see us. Okay, so we're just here in a small cut, and this is pretty much what this whole mountain is. The, the area is so laden with copper, it is just ridiculous. Swansea dumped out billions of dollars of copper, but the biggest problem it had and the biggest thing that shut it down in its time was shipping and export. So you've got huge smelters over here at Swansea that they uh, worked on getting copper out. They left these mines, and they left all this copper, like what you're seeing all here, like this deep dark blue that is such awesome high grade copper probably eight to twelve percent i would just ballpark is copper i want to point out this outcrop so see this copper like literally just sitting on this outcrop but this rock here looks like it was probably pulled out of a mine and it is seriously chock full of copper like every piece you pick up has the nice blue copper colors everywhere you can see why somebody would want to dig here when the copper is that prevalent right on the surface could you imagine what's underground why they left is because it was just becoming not economically viable to keep working this copper when copper was 30 cents a pound 35 cents a pound today copper is five dollars plus a pound Today, we can't, as a company, Gold Rush, keep copper mines in stock. JVs, commercial mining companies, everybody wants copper, everybody wants big copper. This is probably right on the realm of like our new standard mine that just sold for a, a large chunk of money as far as what copper is. So this is what we're looking at. This is, this is the whole mountain, we're 100 acres. Let's go show you the rest of it. I'm finding so much deep blue copper, I'm just thoroughly amused. Like you can probably see the color from there on that rock. And what's interesting is that it's shot through with some really shiny stuff. It almost looks brassy. I'm not gonna say it's gold, but we'll pull an assay and see. This is one of the first shafts on the claim. When I toss a rock down, it's about 30 feet, I would say. Can't really look down there because the surface is a little sketchy. This is a second shaft on the claim, about only 30 feet again by rocks throw. So here is another entrance. It looks like it's probably a lot bigger, but it's had some sand and debris kind of run into it over the years. Okay, here is the copper vein again that they were following that all of these declines are cut on looking across the way at some of our other sites. It looks like somebody's put a culvert in, but possibly not a gate. We'll definitely go over there and take a closer look. We're gonna take a quick second here to say thank God for the BLM. Thank God that they put this culvert in to preserve the children. Because can you think of all the children that would have died if this wasn't here? I mean, literally, you have an attic here that goes back about 40 feet and stops. Look at all this loose rock. When children are walking home from school, they might walk in through this attic. And if there was a massive, massive earthquake, it could cause a little disturbance and rocks could have fallen on their head and scraped their little scalps. So just thank God for the BLM. Has no purpose except for they just threw a bunch of foam in here. This tunnel runs right over, you can see, to where the rest of that uh, adit was going, or the uh, shaft over there was coming down. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so by putting this here, um, it, yeah, 
what it did is it gave somebody who didn't have a job a little bit of money. And then it made it more difficult for the next person that comes out here to futz with anything. So there is a, uh, we shoot down at a slight angle and uh, I can't see, I can see a copper vein right here. It vanishes, but then down about 30 feet, you can see where it picks up. There's also a wood level that's maybe 20 feet below. And then this continues on below it, which tells me that all of the uh, dump material, you can see how, how much dump we have here. These hundreds of, hundreds of tons um, came out of. So they're pretty deep down in there. Um, it'd be interesting to see what the, uh, what the copper values were when they started to get to at depth because there's obviously a reason to go down. Look at this again. Like, if you look at this piece, this is copper, solid. Look at all, that all the way through. That's not just on the surface. That entire rock is a big solid chunk of copper. We read a few little pieces that uh, back in the day when they were starting to open this up, the copper was so thick and so prevalent um, that it was commonly said they could take a pen knife and chunk out pieces of copper. So that's what you're out here for, especially at five bucks a pound. If you get, yeah, a 15%, even a 10% copper, which would be a 10% per ton, which makes that what, 200? Yeah, 200 pounds per ton that you get out of that? 200 times five bucks times, yeah, start doing the math. And this is stuff that you're gonna process in mass. This is not something that you're gonna process in your backyard. This is not something that you're gonna process with your buddies. This needs to be run through. There's a lot of equipment and machinery that needs to go into it to crush it down and then to pull it out onto plates is how that's done, but it's definitely commercial. So very cool. That is a wrap on surveying the West Swansea site. This is a copper mine and not a small scale copper mine. This is going to be a JV or commercial site. We've taken samples. We will have the results of those samples in our tech report, which you can get from our website, goldrushexpeditions.com. You can also see more photos and properties we have for sale. For Gold Rush, I'm Jessica, and we'll see you at the next site. Check, check. We're talking about some copper and some chickens and some chicken copper. You. Manganese is only interesting as just a side note. Nobody really gives a about manganese. Check, 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 check. Copper, 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 copper.